Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore the math class of accounting. This class provides a wide range of mathematical methods that are useful for performing basic numeric operations like exponentials, logarithms, uh, square roots, and trigonometric functions. So let's dive right in. The math class in Java is part of the java.lang package, uh, which is automatically imported into every Java program. You don't need to, you do not need to import any additional packages to use it. So some key features, the math class provides static methods for various mathematical operations. You call these, you call these methods using the class name math since they're static. More on that later. Um, basic math methods. So let's start with some basic math methods provided by the math class. So here's some examples of some basic math methods. Um, we can do ABS for absolute value, so math.abs. We can do uh, square root, so math.squirt, some people call it that, S-P-R-T. So not an I in there, so S-P-R-T. Um, you can do power, and the way you do that is math.pow, P-O-W, and uh, max, so math.max, which is your maximum, uh, or return your max value. Um, Min, so math.min, which is kind of minimal value, which I really like to. Okay. Let's take a look at how these work. So here, as we saw, the absolute value of negative 10 was 10. The square root of 25 was 5. Uh, 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8.1. The maximum of 10 is 20 is 20. The minimum of 10 is 20 is 10. Um, so some other things you might use in the trig like trigonometric, trigger, trigonometric method. The math class also provides methods for trigonometric operations. So we're going to look at some examples of trigonometric, trigonometric methods. <laughs> We have, we have excuse me. So here we have um, an angle. So we can change that angle to radians. Um, so we use map dot two radians. We can find the sine of that angle, or so we can find a sine of radians. That's why we want to change radians first. But we can find the sine of that radian value. Find the cosine of it. So math dot cos c o s math dot sin for uh, sine math dot tan for tangent. Um, so we can get all those. So that must be a radians. Yeah, no matter. So yeah. So sine of forty five degrees square root of two divided by two. Um, cosine is the same thing. Notice how they round with an arrow. Ooh, precision. Where did they get that? Tangent oh. of 45 uh, is 1. Hmm. Why did they get it like that? I wonder. Let's see if it's going to be side and all that cosine. We think these values are exactly the same. Let's see if it's an approximation. So it's supposed to be shitty, though. Um, and the math class also includes a method to generate random numbers, which is very useful. When you get a random value, which is math not random. So it generates a random double between 0, 0 0.0 and 1.0. Okay. Uh integer random int, it will um, give you a generate a random integer between 0 and 99. Um, in this case. So 
So it was random. So the reason where it's going to give us number 2099 is because we multiply it by 100. That way, the value we get is too far. Because it's automatically going to be between 0 and 1. And that's generally how you want to change that range of values you get is by multiplying by some multiple step. Okay? So if we want to just get any random value, it's going to give us 0 to 1. But if we want to get some good to be whole numbers, then uh, we're going to have to cast them to be integers. You can just look here. Cast them up. Uh, so we multiply by 100 first, so that should be really good to be that much. Okay. So we got those four, and then there's that random digit between zero and one. Okay, cool. So um, we got uh, rounding methods is another common use case for the math class. So for rounding, let's just take a look at some examples. There are three prominent uh, static methods in the math class using rounding. They are round, which rounds up, or sorry, excuse me, rounds to the nearest entry. It will make the decision if it goes up. So if the um, digit it's rounding based off is five or more, round up. If it's between zero and four, round down. Um, but there's some ways that you can automatically round up every time or round down every time. You can use the ceiling method. Which is math.sill, that's sill for ceiling. So it will raise it to the ceiling, so it will round it up. And then we have math.floor, so floor is on the bottom, goes down, right? So it makes it round down. So we have 7.5 here, so we're going to round 7.5, which will give us 8. Rounding up, it's going to go to a double, so it will give us 8.0. And rounding it down automatically, we'll go to 7. Uh, and there are several constants. Uh, your math class also use, includes several useful constants, such as math.pi, pi, pi, or math.e for exponentials. So, let's see how to use that. So let's say we want to find the area of a circle. Well, how do you do that? Well, you gotta do the radius squared times pi. So I need to have pi. Well, I do math.pi, capital PI, very important here, capital PI, uh, times math.pi. And here we said the radius is five, so five squared. So it's not really pi will square something. Okay. And then an exponential. So math.exp1. Um, so e to the first power, so you can raise it to whatever power you want, but e being a natural number or Euler's number. Not Euler's, we call it Euler's law, but, but Euler, so the mess with respect. Uh, respect on this name. Area of the circle though, raised five, let's see what we get, and what is e to the first power? So, area of the circle raised five, all right. Uh, e raised to the first power, or just e, approximately 2, 2.718, 2. 2. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, um, and that's an overview of the math class in Java. As you can see, it provides a wide range of methods that are extremely useful for performing various mathematical operations. Here are more. Take a look at the documentation for the math class in Java. It's not the description for our level. Um, be sure to experiment with these methods in your own programs. So you can get a feel for how they work. Happy coding. <laughs> and this includes our session on the math class. So practice using these methods in your assignments, and you'll see, you'll see how powerful and convenient the math class can be. Ooh. Uh, uh, ooh. Wait, here's some Java. <laughs>